It's uh, Sunday, April 26th. I have been battling scabies for uh, exactly a month and a day. And I'm happy to report the battle is uh, that the humans are winning. Um, successful application with permethrin. Uh, unfortunate overuse of permethrin causing uh, skin problems mainly on my hands which is problematical uh, not to mention painful the instructions on the permethrin say wash off may cause skin irritation however when you are in the throes of a scabies infestation and you have never felt anything as overwhelmingly itchy as this the last thought in your mind is that you want to take the medication off that's supposed to kill the bugs so uh, I believe this is woefully inadequate education in terms of how to use the medicine and this is mainly due to the fact that most of the health practitioners and probably the people who sell the stuff for a hundred dollars a tube have never actually had scabies so they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about so uh... Mm -hmm, that felt right okay so now i want to emphasize again emphasize the main symptom that you might have scabies is a persistent itch that wakes you up from a sound sleep in the middle of the night a persistent itch that wakes you up in the middle of the fucking night and you scratch for a half an hour and you look and there's nothing there and finally after you've scratched for a half an hour or an hour and you put on some skin cream and you, you go back to sleep and the next day you think well it must be my laundry detergent and I've heard this from three or four different health professionals persistent itch that wakes you up from the fucking dead sleep in the fucking goddamn middle of the fucking goddamn night now I hope you understand this what I am saying it wakes you up in the middle of the night and these were the symptoms I had and I did not know what it was because nobody fucking ever goddamn told me what it was This is a motherfucking bullshit motherfucking shit from our goddamn stupid fucking sex terrorized society. And scabies is one of those diseases that has been uh, demonized as a sexually transmitted disease, which it's not. Hmm. Okay. Two things. Persistent itch that wakes you up in the middle of the fucking night. Wash off the permethrin. Do not leave it on. And this is, this is important. The permethrin kills the bugs, but it does not get rid of the itch, which can last for days and days and days after the bugs are dead. So your first instinct is to leave the medicine on and that is the wrong thing to do they don't tell you even though they charge you a hundred fucking dollars for one little tube of this shit they don't tell you you can really fuck yourself up good with it and there's these other uh, there's the other herbal cures and I bought two of them but uh, when you have this you don't want to mess around with it it's bad I don't know how humanity survived it so um, the but these bugs 
have evolved a way they infest your body and your body does not know for a whole month, four to six weeks, what's going on except for the itch. The only symptom is the persistent itch that wakes you up in the middle of the night. Okay, I think I said that enough, enough times. I hope you fucking understand, you fucking idiots! I have an anger problem. Sorry.